Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Helldivers 2 on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now what we're going to be doing today is we are once again going to be taking the fight to the machines because in the previous video we didn't really get a good look at the machines because every time they dropped from their airship my sentries completely wiped them out. So we're going to spend today's video once again dealing with the machines and then I think in the videos after this one I most likely will go back to bug territory and I'll show you guys and girls how I got a couple of the trophies, some of the more difficult trophies all by myself, like finishing a mission without using your primary or your special weapon, stuff like that. So yeah, let's get straight into things. Now before I head into a mission, I just want to quickly show you all some of the new stratagems that I've unlocked because since I last filmed the previous three videos, I've got to level 20 and I've got myself quite a few new stratagems unlocked. Also a few ship upgrades as well. As you can see, I've got three of the rarest components now, so I think I need two more and a couple more of the green ones, and then I should be able to upgrade my sentries where they always have 50% more ammunition, which is mwah, beautiful. <laughs> but as for stratagems, I think you already saw these two. I've got the flamethrower. I mostly bought this because of the uh, trophy. The rail gun, because this is absolutely amazing. I think I was playing with another group of people and uh, one of the level 20 players dropped his rail gun, so I picked it up and tried it out. And you can actually shoot, I think, those chargers with the heavy armor. You can shoot them in the leg like maybe one or two times and it completely wrecks the armor and then you can shoot their leg with normal guns and it will blow off their leg and they'll die. So it's a very, very good gun to have, especially if you're playing on your own and you want to do some of the bug hunts all alone and stuff like that. Make sure you get the rail gun, but you need to be level 20 to unlock it and then you've got to buy it. I've also got several different barrages now. The laser is very, very good to have, but unfortunately it's got a very long cooldown and only three uses per mission. And then we've got the strafing run, the cluster bomb. We've also got the 500 kg bomb. That's the big aliens that you've not seen yet. The uh, bile titans, I think they're called. Absolute nightmares to deal with. Then we've got the orbital strike. We've got the Tesla tower that is more efficient at killing hell divers than it is at killing bugs. I don't recommend you ever use this bloody thing. It's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> and then we've got the grenade launcher. Great for dealing with nests. We've obviously got rover. And then we've got all of the sentries unlocked, basically. This right here, very good at killing hell divers as well, as you saw in the previous episode. We've got the auto cannon, very good at dealing with the heavy stuff like chargers, like that little git right there. And then we've got the rocket sentry, also good for dealing with chargers and heavy enemies. And I've not got this one yet, but this one just slows people down. I don't think it actually does any damage to them, but I could be wrong about that. But yeah, let's, uh, let's head into the mission. So I think what we'll do today is we'll do one of the missions where you have to deal with the fabrication plants. But we're going to have to do this on probably medium difficulty. Yeah, I don't think challenging will be a good idea. Mostly just because of how quickly you have to finish the mission. And on challenging it'll be a bit harder for me to finish it in time all on my own. So I think you only get like 15 minutes to do it. Right. So we'll have a look on drop near, as we've nearly taken over this planet by the looks of it. This operation would hamstring the enemy's capabilities. Kill. Oh, we could do this one. Every mission. Yeah, we could do this one. Operational success. I don't know whether we should do it on challenging difficulty or not. We'll give it a go, but basically these ones are just you have to fight waves of enemies, and uh, you're going to have to kill like a hundred and. I think on challenging it might be 150, 175. We'll give it a go on challenging, but I'm most likely going to die. So we'll come back and try again on medium after. Yeah, we'll, we'll give this a go. Yeah, this might... Uh, this is going to be very rough. One thing I did work at, you know the ones that... Uh, the, the machines that have got those little walkers look like they're from Star Wars. You can actually just run behind them and shoot the driver. Because I never thought about getting close to them because I thought I would die. But all they do is they try and kick you, but it's really slow and easy to dodge. And then you just shoot them. Or just dive and then turn around while you're on the floor and shoot them in the back. <laughs> They're actually very easy to deal with. I hated those things at first. Just got to hope no hulks show up on this difficulty. You can get lucky on these maps sometimes and land on a mountain where no one can get to you. Oh, I also unlocked a booster as well. 
So every single mission we will start with full ammo, grenades and stims instead of half. Alright, uh, we'll bring the laser. We'll bring the auto sentry. We have to bring the mortar, it's very, very good. And we'll bring the rocket one as well, I guess. I do want to kind of have Rover with me, though. We'll get rid of the rocket sentry and we'll replace that with Rover. That should be okay. Obviously, it's a bit more difficult because I'm, I'm playing it myself, so I've not got other people using their stratagems where I can, like, pick the things I want, you know. So, that's the one of the biggest problems about playing on your own. Did I land on anything? Oh no, I don't know what this map is. You are the best of the best. Right. Live up to your name. Live so I need to kill 125. Well, I'll put the mortar over there. I'll put you over there. By the looks of it, there's a flipping rocket launcher. Oh, it's an anti-tank one. I'm out. Oh, oh. Oh, it's gone now. I, I don't know if that... I don't know if I killed people then, or if the mortar killed... Or if, uh... I don't know if the mortar killed people, anyone, or I killed them. <laughs> that was beautiful. It's not too bad, actually. You've got some... Oh, no. I was going to say, we've got some nice cover, but we can't stand up. I'll oh, go and shoot at them. Go on. Oh, 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 it's, it's blowing the ships out of the sky. I don't know if it's counting towards the counter, though. Anyone? Well, three people died. Say hello to democracy. Right, let's get a resupply pod down just for when I need my bullets. I mean, they're all spawning in really simple locations at the moment. I've got this side over here protected by the uh, big old gun. I've got my mortar rain in hell down, but it's probably going to run out of bullets soon. This was supposed to be a, a video where we got a good representation of the machines, but, but so far my sentries are doing it again. They're spoiling the video. <laughs> they're either spoiling my video or they're killing me, especially the mortar. Who are you shooting at? Oh, that was a headshot. Oh, they're getting obliterated. No, well, I think I'd do that. Just, yeah, someone's got a bloody rocket. Yeah, he's got a rocket launcher. Not anymore. What did we, what did we pick? We picked challenging, didn't we? This ain't fucking challenging. What's going on? Come on. Yeah, stupid robots. If they landed in different places, it would be a lot more difficult. Yeah, it's like they're landing in two spots over there, and they're all being funneled through here. Oh shit! Oh shit, where did this big boy come? Fuck it, that was like a, a Warhammer 40k guy. Oh shit, that's what I get for getting cocky. Freedom never sleeps! Have a taste of democracy! You know what happened? Me mortar ran out of bullets. And I think they smacked my... Oh, no, I didn't. How'd you like to taste of yeah, I think you might be shooting a wall, mate. Don't waste your ammo. How many we killed? 98. I've got to watch this side now because I don't have my uh, turret there. This big boy. Look at the size of it. 
It does seem to run out of ammo very quickly, though. I can hear... I can hear them really close. Where are they? Are they all chilling out down there? Look at him! What are you doing down there? Oh, they're having a horrible... <laughs> they're, having a, they're having a really horrible time. Even Rover doesn't have any work to do. Got me resupply nearly ready. Fucking hell. It's going swimmingly, isn't it? Oh, hang on. What's going on? Oh, well, that was pitiful, wasn't it? Look at you running up here to ruin my mortar. Right, where do we, uh... Too far from extraction? Well, oh, sorry, I didn't... I don't know where I'm being extracted from. Bloody hell. There's another rocket launcher down there. Oh. Oh yeah. Say hello to democracy. Right now, there normally would be fifteen uh, common samples. No, oh, there's only ten in this one. Yeah, there's only ten in this one. Normally, there's fifteen in the bug area. I'll show you one of the missions where you can get fifteen. I'll show you where they all are, just in case you want to get that trophy. Because once you've killed all the enemies and you've wiped them out and you've finished in the shuttles there, you could just leave, you could just walk around here looking for all the samples and you ain't got to worry about any time limits or any enemies showing up. So it's a good way to farm yourself some of the common stuff. You can't get any of the other resources, but common you can get 15 or 10 of if you're doing the uh, robot one. And that went pretty well. Flipping hell. And <laughs> we blasted through that. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll do a bit more of a challenging one now. We'll do the one where you need to take down the fabrication plants. It's basically the equivalent of the bug ones with the nests. But these ones are like little factories that produce machines. But we'll have to switch it down to medium because uh, challenging, just doing it on my own, it's too, I'm too slow. So I'll run out of time and then I can't summon anything. And then I'll just be absolutely wrecked by the robots. I don't think medium and challenging are that much different, to be honest. Maybe a couple, maybe those uh, hulky uh, things don't show up. Whatever they're called, the Devastators, they don't show up as much, I think, on medium. I finished a mission on suicide uh, difficulty, suicide run difficulty the other day. God, that was a nightmare. <laughs> Absolute uh, carnage. Honestly, you get three friends with this game and you play on like Hell Dive difficulty, you're going to have a lot of fun. And I think they're adding another faction to the game as well. I was right when I said that there's probably going to be four factions if you look at the map. So uh, that's going to be good. They're like some sort of aquatic thing, I think they said, or something like that. If I read correctly, I might be reading bullshit. Who knows? All right. How many medals have I got? Fifteen. Suppose I should try and get this at some point, man. Look at that! Oh, oh look at this armor set. Look at that! That's a nice cape. Oh, I also got this uh, gun unlocked as well. This one does have incendiary rands. The other one I was using was more explosive rands. Okay, I should ideally do this one, but we're not going to worry about that because if you do all missions in the same area, you get a like I'll get five medals instead of three. But never mind. This is just for YouTube. Um, nope. Oh, that's the same thing as what we just did, ain't it? Yeah. Right, let's have a look on one of these planets. Let's put it down to medium, just in case. This operation is no longer viable. We must redirect our attention. No, we don't want to reduce their numbers. Well, we do, but that's not... Where is it? They're not, there's normally got these missions everywhere. It's where you have to run around and take down the fabrication places.
That's the one we did in the previous video. God damn it. Oh, well, that sucks. Unless they want me to do it on challenging. You watch. I bet the, I bet the mission will be available on challenging, won't it? Let us not ruminate, but instead redouble our efforts. Escort and protect researchers as they travel to the evacuation zone. Why is that a 40 minute mission? Alright, I think what we'll do is we'll just do another one of those uh, missions where we fight the waves of enemies then. Oh, I suppose we could just do this. What's this one? Infiltrate automaton territory and destroy their fuel and munition stockpiles. I suppose we could do that. We have to do it on medium though, just because it's uh, going to be a long one. Yeah, all right, we'll do that. Mission coordinates locked. Help pods prime. If we've got to destroy uh, their fuel and stuff, I guess we better bring, like, probably not so much the sentries. Destroy stockpiled ammunition, destroy stockpiled ammunition, destroy fuel reserves. All right, so we want to probably bring a lot of bombs. So we drop around here. Hopefully I don't get flipping spotted. Right, we'll bring the laser. That's very good at destroying things. Should I bring the 500 kilogram bomb? I'll bring the 500 kilogram bomb just to show you all because it's bloody amazing. Obviously, I've got to bring Rover. Uh, grenade launcher? Don't really need the machine gun. That's better against bugs. We'll bring the grenade launcher. <clears throat> All right. How long we got? Plenty of time. As we're playing on medium, it should be easy peasy. All right, so I've been, I've been playing some stressful games these last few, uh, probably about the last month. I've been doing God of War Ragnarok, where if I die, I've got to do the whole thing again. I'm also doing it at the moment with The Last of Us Part 2. Both of them were roguelike modes. And then two online games where they're always stressful. <laughs> I had to be night time, didn't it? Remember this. Every day is a good day to die for democracy. I mean I'd rather I'd rather not die, mate. What the hell? What happened to my uh, grenade launcher? Oh, I might be right on the edge. Yeah. If you throw it and it doesn't come down, it might be because you threw it into the uh out of bound zone. <laughs> Yes, if I run over here, it'll probably tell me to return. Yeah, so yeah, that's probably why, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I don't know what the hell's over there. Should we just drop our 500 kg bomb? Nah, we're not going to do that. Right, well, let's, let's head over here first. Do one of the optional objectives as we're right near it. Put my uh, grenade launcher on my back. Flipping, clipping through my rover backpack. <laughs> God, I hate, sh I hate it when things clip through things like that. It drives me insane. Like when you play a video game, like a fantasy video game, and you see your... Uh... Oh, he was going to call for help then, wasn't he? Cheeky devil. All right, ready? Watch. Look how easy it is to deal with these gifts. Just make sure they don't kick you. See, run behind them. See how he tried to kick me then? Oh, shit, I ran out of bullets. There you go, Rover did it for me. But just watch out for the boot. See? <laughs> it's fucking... It's like an old granddad. I can't actually remember what I do on this one. It's got, I've got to faff around with the towers, in I? The satellites. Or do I have to just turn it on? Oh no, we're terminating the illegal broadcast. Okay. So we're stopping them from spreading their robot propaganda. Oh, 
Oh, that was piss easy, wasn't it? Dropping a pin, west. Okay. Oh, watch out. There's a lot of bangs on my letterbox at the moment. I don't know if Royal Mail was just playing with my letterbox. Oh, fuck. Don't want to be doing that. Oh, what's it? What are you doing? You have a little tantrum? Oh, that's a fabrication place over there. You know what we're going to do? We are going to throw a laser over there. <laughs> oh, lovely jubbly. I didn't think it would break it that quick. Oh, come on. We were at bot drop. How, how did I get a chance to shoot a bloody... What the fuck was that? How did they have a chance to shoot a... To call for help? Oh, you're not going to have a good day now, are you, buddy? How did that ship survive? Right, is that the place? Yeah, that's the place there. Ready? Killed by Davam. What? Did you kill me, Rover? I think Rover killed me. Joining Fucking Rover. I hope this lands in the cap. Alright, that was my fault. Watch this though, if I, if I don't bloody. If you actually get to see it. Oh, there you go. That better. How did it not take it down? What? It didn't do anything. I was a pile of shit. Ha, fuck you. Shoot! I need to get more stims. Sorry, it's all going horribly wrong. Oh, the smoke would have helped me out a bit. Yeah, it's all gone horribly wrong. I expected my... Fuck off! I expected that bomb to wipe everyone out. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's because I... I don't know, it shouldn't have been... It shouldn't have mattered if I died. Stop fucking hitting me! I'm behind a rock! I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I healed. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I pressed up. Gonna run out of time at this rate. Apparently you don't die, mate. Yeah, apparently you're immune to everything. Bag's empty. Freaking rock. Finally. Maybe, oh, I'm not sure what the hell's going on. Something weird's going on. <laughs> uh, 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to throw another one. Have a taste of democracy. Oh, well, we destroyed one ammunition stockpile. That's lovely. <laughs> getting pissed. I'm getting pissed. Oh, it's literally the same as the fabrication things. Yeah, you got to throw a grenade in the, in the top. That's probably why it's not been working. Oh, well, that just fouled. Throwing grenade. No, it's not that then. Okay. Well, at least you're getting a good look at the machines. So what, what are we actually destroying in these places? Fuck off and leave me alone. Is it them? Fire in the hole! Oh, it might be that. Okay. Well I don't Oh there's another one there. Okay. Well, that's a bit weird. How did that not get shot off by two 5 kg bombs? I, I don't get it. <laughs> Alright. Well, this time around, we'll have the laser. The laser will just go absolutely crazy in there. Sorry about that, Wolf Morbets. That was probably very frustrating to watch. I do apologise. I don't like to perform terribly. It's always annoying when you watch people who have no idea what they're doing. Yeah. And I do have an idea of what I'm doing. I'm just doing it badly. That's the problem. Right. Whatever you do, Rover, don't go up there and start causing mischief, okay? Don't start shooting at people before I do. You, you wait, okay? You've been a bad boy today. That's what you've been. Absolute bad boy. Oh, my 500 kg bomb. Why does it keep... I thought I could only use it once per mission. Laser. Right, laser and a 5 k 500 kg bomb. Ready? Watch this explosion. Breaking over here, fuel silos. It's got to be this, ain't it? Nothing in the chamber. Is that a? Is that a? Uh, is that why I've got to destroy it? Maybe that's why I've got to um, drop my. Uh... Maybe that's why I've got to drop the bomb on. Well, if I do, I need to, I need to wait for the cooldown. I don't think it's going to be this. Oh fuck! Look at this. Oh yeah, of course the last one bloody calls for help. The last one alive. Fuck off. Oh, it's a hell bomb we gotta do. 
All right, it's like when you take down those um, those research facilities. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the stratagem. Yeah, definitely clear the area. This ain't no small bang. Hopefully it takes down some of these other twats. Found something. Oh, that was nice. Alright, where's the next one? Ah, oh, two miles away. And right where there's a load of other camps. I like how some of the points of interest are just little bits of lore. It's pretty nice. Oh. Deploying equipment package. I didn't even need to resupply it to be honest. No, it doesn't matter. It does cool down really quick when you're playing on your own. Whenever you see that yellow glow, make sure you go to it. Because there could be medals in there, could be super credits in there, or it could be um, just uh, normal currency. Found something. Could you shout any louder, Bob? Fucking hell. Let's see, a medal. Oh, three medals, fucking hell. Even better. I don't know who's shooting at me. I'm not sure if they are shooting at me. Maybe they are, maybe they ain't. Either way, they're missing at the moment. Oh my god! Bob's going to have a bad concussion after this. I mean, technically, he's already died, like, what, three, four times? Can only revive one more time. Oh, no, we don't want that. No, no. Okay, we're almost there. This is another one of the ammunition ones, so we're going to have to get in there. Got some weird spicy onions everywhere. Ah, oh, the orbital laser is ready. Our last one. Perfect timing. And our 500 kg bombs almost nearly ready as well. Fuck! Oh, well done! The flipping laser did its job! <laughs> Bloody get the hell out of here. I chucked a 500 kilogram bomb behind me. Remember, cool guys, don't look at explosions. it was bound to happen we did have a really good mission i was expecting to be a bit more difficult you know i thought we were gonna have a rough time fighting the waves of enemies but that, that went pretty damn well considering like we didn't die at all and we wiped them all out you know so it was only it was only inevitable that this this mission was going to be a pain in the ass <laughs> i was expecting more from that bomb i think that's what did it i thought i was going to like blow up the entire camp just wipe it all out and it didn't i was expecting a bigger area of effect there is a different uh, one you can get, a different strafing run, where it does hit like a, a big area. 
but it's not as precise. Maybe I should have brought that one instead. Oh, well, never mind. You live and you learn, didn't you, boys and girls? Oh, surprise. See you hanging around over there. Go on, come in. No, no, come, come. ETA T minus one minute thirty seconds. Back ah! empty. Oh, who did that? Hopefully that was it. Although there are some people over to the left. They're not coming down yet though for some reason. Oh shit, look at them. Oh, ready? Shit. I might be a bit too close. Quick, hurry up, bomb! The other one. And then we've got a whole load of bullets all on the floor now. And also bullets there as well. We could just keep using our grenade launcher, so we should be alright. And we've only got 10 more seconds. Whoa! See them all just sort of chilling in the shadows then. Be careful that you don't get killed by the uh, fire of your shuttle. Because we nearly finished a mission on Extreme without dying. And then someone got burnt by the flame of the bloody uh, shuttle. And yeah, it completely ruined it. It completely ruined the mission. People were laughing their heads off in the, uh, the little chat box at the side. But you know secretly they were pissed. <laughs> I feel I've already got the trophy. I'm not sure. When you're playing with other people, it's much better. Because you ain't got everyone, every single creature ain't shooting at you then. There's like four people to shoot at, as well as sentries and other things that have been placed down. That's going to be a 40 minute episode. Lovely. It'll take about 10 years to render. Can't wait. Sweet. And we did some of the optional stuff as well, so not, not too bad. Considering we had a bit of a... Uh, Bit of a struggle. Because that was only on medium as well, wasn't it? Yeah, that's fucking that's ridiculous on medium. You did that with three other people, it'd be a breeze. Take about two minutes to finish. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I'll do a few more videos with just me and then we'll we'll start doing some multiplayer stuff on like um extreme difficulty and uh, stuff like that. Got a yo-yo. How many times did we die? Was it four, wasn't it? Yeah, four deaths. 156 kills, lovely. All right, well, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolves. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. And yeah, uh, next time, what we will do is uh, we'll we'll go back to bug territory, and I'll do a couple of missions where we have to kill uh, waves, uh, like we did at the start of this video. But it'd be waves of bugs instead until we've killed 175. We'll do it on hard mode and I'll show you all. Because you have to finish it on hard without using your primary or your special weapon. So you can still use your grenades and you can still use your Uzi or your whatever you've got, your whatever your sidearm is. And you can also use sentries. So I'll show you how I did that and then I'll show you all how you can also finish a mission with 15 samples as well. It's a bit buggy at the moment because I think it's supposed to be 15 collected 
with your whole squad, but at the moment it seems to only work if one person is holding them all. Don't know if it's intended to be like that, but if it is, it's a bit weird, but I'll show you how I got the uh, the common one, at least, off camera. So yeah, thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and yeah, like, share, and join the pack today, and apologies for all the deaths.